Hey guys, this is Apple SDK Dev. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to add extra tab bar items to a tab bar app. So the first thing we're going to do, go ahead and open up our Xcode. Once you get here, you can open up a new project uh, from has to be tab bar application. I'm going to name it test, just because it doesn't really matter for me. You can call it whatever you want if you have an idea in mind. Name it that. Uh, then, once you got it, just go ahead and spread open your window. Spread open the window, open up the classes, all kinds of sources. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and find the folder in which it was. So most likely you saved it to your desktop, so you need to go ahead and open up that folder. So once you're here, go ahead and find either the first view, second view, your main window, no. First view or second view. And then go ahead and um, right click it and click on duplicate. Once it makes the second one, you're going to go ahead and command I, get the info, and you're going to rename that. Technically, you can do anything you want. I'm just going to call it third view, just so it's like the same thing as the rest of them. And we're only um, duplicating it just so it has the same effect. That way, we don't have to get into like the extra coding and making sure it works. This way, we know it's the same exact kind of XIB file. So once you have that, go ahead and drag it into your project with the rest of them. Go ahead and click add. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the main vin main window and set it up. So go ahead and open up your tab controller. It's hiding over here. What you get there, as you can see, you have the first one, and it's loaded from the first view. Second one, it's loaded from the second view. And what we have to do is we have to go to our library and get a tab bar item, drag it right next to it. And right there, just in sync with the rest of them, we're just going to title it third. And as you can see right here, it doesn't say loaded from anything. So what we have to do is click on it, go to NIB name, and click on third view or whatever you would call it before. You can save it. Um, you can really name these whatever you want. You can just name this one home. Technically, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm just going to go ahead and save that and just show you a little bit how it works. So, that first view, as you could see, was the first one. So, now I'm just going to, just so I can actually sh prove to you that it's completely working, I'm going to make the first view a green color. I'll make the second view a, I don't know, an orange. Yeah, that's fine. And it'll make the third view um, a blue. I don't, yeah, whatever, a blue. So I've saved that. Now they'll all load. I'm going to go ahead and build and run, see if it works. It'll take a minute, and uh, here it is. Just give it a minute, and it will load up, and it should work perfectly. Perfect. Okay, so the first one's green. We called it home. You could call it whatever you want. Second one is orange, just like I said. And the third one is blue. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, give me some comments. Give me some reviews. Rate it five. Subscribe. Anything like that. Thanks, guys.